good day to everybody watching us and thank you for always watching our videos in your homes and wherever you are watching us from may god bless you for always subscribing to our channel tell a friend to tell a friend and to tell another friend to subscribe to our channel for your life will never be the same quickly in luke chapter number two verses number 51 the bible says then the child went down to nazareth with the mother and uh, Mary kept all these things in the heart. The King James will say, and Mary treasures all these things in the heart. The NIV say, and Mary kept these things in the heart. It is all the same point, but I want to bring something there. This was when Jesus Christ was left in the temple after they went to Jerusalem with the parents. And when they were going back, the parents left Jesus behind, or Jesus was left behind without the parents knowing until when they reached home they found out that Jesus was not with them because the mother were thinking that Jesus was part of the crowd that were following them now in short Mary was able to keep keep all this information in the heart that is the point I want to bring about and Mary treasured all these things in his in her heart and Mary treasures all these things in her heart and Mary kept all these things in her heart now in this our world today social media is a very powerful tool social media is a powerful tool everybody is using but one thing i have found out is that people easily post their hurt people easily post their pains people easily post the things that are happening to them quickly on social media and everybody is uh, glued to it watching reading people's history from the time they were born to the time they die they can be able to determine that this person is already dead already this person or this family they're already fighting divorce this mother or this child they are already fighting uh, disobedience in the house why because of social media beloved i just want to give a simple advice we can learn from mary and she kept all these things in her heart that means that we can also keep some sense in our heart if we pray about it. As long as we have prayed about it, God is the one who makes all things happen. And he is the one who makes all things good unto our lives. So if God is the person you are looking up to, why don't we pray unto him and trust him than posting everything in the social media before even we go and pray? The social media is a very good platform. All of us are using it. However, we can read the nonsense and we can read the boguses of people's life all on that social. Because you are hurt doesn't mean put it on social. Because you are in pain doesn't mean put it on social. Because your husband divorced you doesn't mean put it on social. Your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend left you and the whole social media knows about your boyfriend. What about when you have a boyfriend, you're able to keep it as a secret and pray to your God, tell your mother, tell your parents, tell your pastors about it and they join you to pray on, on your decision and let's see what God will do. And when it, the glory has landed and your expectations has come to pass, you can post it on, on Facebook or social media or wherever you want to post it for people to rejoice and thank God for your desire which is fulfilled by him. But now what do we see? The little thing, oh, let's put it on Facebook, social media. Everybody is liking. Some people are crying, uh, emojis and other stuff. Beloved, Mary kept all these things in her heart. She kept it in her heart. Some things keep in your heart, just as we can learn from Mary's story. All the things that happened in Jerusalem, the Bible says, and Mary kept it in her heart. Beloved, keep it in your heart. That's your new house. Keep it in the house. Your new uh, uh, opportunity that you've received keep it in the heart don't say it all sometimes watch the reaction of people before you push it but it is difficult to see the reaction of people when they are in their homes unless you are talking to them face to face but if you're not talking to them face to face why do you post everything people can just read people's status oh there is divorce already in the family people can just read people's status oh he's going through pain and trouble what will happen if you put the word of god there if you are going through sickness or pain you can put there the bible says i am healed or the word of god says i am healed or the bible says by his stripes i am healed you can put something positive than being so negative you have been so negative that anytime they see your post on Facebook or on social media, they know that something wrong is about to happen or something wrong has exploded. Beloved, keep 
some things in the heart. Sometimes silence, they say, is a key. To the foolish, he is deemed wise, even if you keep quiet. Not everything you must post on Facebook. Let's learn from Mary in Luke chapter 2, verse 51. He said, the B part, she said, and Mary kept all these things in her heart. May God bless you. May God keep you safe. May God protect you and help you so that all the things you are doing in this life, it will bring glory to God, not to expose you to the world at large. The pains, the hurt you are going through, and the enjoyment you think you are enjoying. May the Lord help you. Keep preaching the word. Keep praying. Don't stop, for the Lord is still with you. But still remember, keep some things in the heart. Not everybody must see everything or see everything on Facebook. May God bless you and may the Lord keep you strong. May he protect you from the enemy and may your face continue to shine brighter and brighter. May your steps move into a smooth land and may you stand on the stable grounds. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.